I'm Mike Stanton. This is the BAM Credit Insights video on the Snake River Sporting Club Improvement and Service District in Wyoming. The district is selling approximately $17 million of special assessment property tax revenue bonds. The bonds will be rated AA with a stable outlook to, to build America Mutual's insurance. And we sold a negotiated transaction priced by Piper Sandler. Mark Capel from BAM's West Region Public Finance Group is here with me. Mark was the underwriter on the transaction. We'll talk about the uh, credit structure. Mark, thanks for taking some time today. Mark, this is the first time we've done a Credit Insights video for a bond issue from Wyoming. Uh, it is a relatively rare state that we see transactions from. One of the things that struck me as I was looking at your credit report to the BAMS Credit Committee was that you started with a fairly detailed discussion about the authorization process the district went through to make sure the uh, bonds were legally issued. Why was that necessary? Why did you have to go into that level of detail? Yeah, thanks, Mike. That's right. So municipal bond authorization processes vary from state to state. And while there's some places we do a lot of transactions, the state of Wyoming doesn't issue a lot of municipal bonds. And so the approval procedures here uh, were not as well known. And so the verification process and understanding uh, the nature of the obligation and the security uh, took a little bit uh, more of an in-depth analysis. So once you went through that process and, and verified that, what was the credit supporting the bonds? How did you begin your analysis? The security here is quite strong. It's a pledge of special assessments that are levied on each and every parcel in the district. Uh, and there's a backup pledge of an unlimited ad valorem tax on all taxable district property. So how do you approach uh, analyzing the district's ability to repay the debts given those, uh, those pledged revenue streams? So for the special assessment pledge, uh, we tend to look at the value to lien, which is the value of the each individual property relative to its obligation to pay the debt. And here we calculated it at 23.2 to 1. We also concern ourselves with the diversity among the top payers of the special assessments. Similarly, for the unlimited tax general obligation pledge, we look at the value of the underlying property. And the assessed value here has increased quite dramatically over the past decade uh, and has an aggregate total 2023 full value of 395.1 million. So a relatively small community, but a relatively wealthy community. And that's how you, you, you reach your conclusion that it was insurable. That's exactly right. And you know, one last question. Let's just uh, take a step back and talk about what this transaction is for. Uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about essential infrastructure at BAM uh, as being the focus of many of our transactions. What's being financed here? Uh, proceeds from the bonds will be used to replace a bridge that was damaged and some significant road improvements to uh, improve access uh, from the main roads uh, directly into this community. I understand that bridge is the principal uh, route in and out of the community and it's been uh, very severely limited in terms of uh, weight capacity uh, over the last couple of years. That's correct, yeah. It definitely uh, reaches an essentiality level. Well, thanks for your time uh, today, Mark. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. My pleasure. Thank you.